Hi, I'm Sonia from Sustain My Craft Habit, and today I'm going to show you how to make a heart wreath. Welcome back to our channel. If you love crafts and upcycling projects, be sure to subscribe to our channel. With Valentine's Day around the corner, although I'm not much for romance, I do love a pretty wreath. For this project, you'll need a craft hoop, pink paint, and a brush, some twine, thread or hot glue, and a sewing machine, the optional heart template that we have at sustainmycrafthabit.com, some fabric, and wood buttons for embellishment. So let's get started. Begin by cutting out the hearts, the larger hearts from the fabric. We made our hearts double-sided because the silk fabric that we used was pretty lightweight and then we used the darker denim fabric for the back. So we cut out nine large hearts from the blue fabric and nine hearts from the pink silk fabric. If your fabric is particularly thin, such as ours silk was, you may want to add a layer of interfacing this is an iron-on interfacing to the back to give it a bit of stability. Next, place the right sides of two pieces of fabric together and sew your hearts closed. Well, you want to sew them leaving about an inch and a half gap to be able to put the stuffing in and turn it inside out. To help with turning the hearts inside out and avoiding puckering, be sure to cut small slits all the way around the heart. Then turn the heart inside out. You may need to use a pencil or dull points of scissors to get into the little corners of the heart. Once your hearts are turned right side out, gently stuff them with some stuffing and then stitch the opening closed. Repeat this to create nine large hearts in total. Next, you're going to cut out the smaller hearts in the contrasting fabric. So again, we cut out enough fabric to make nine hearts in total. If you want to make a bigger wreath, of course, you'll need more hearts or fewer hearts for a smaller wreath. Unlike the larger hearts where we sewed it with the right sides facing each other, this time you want to keep the wrong sides facing each other and then stitch all the way around the outside. You do want to leave a small gap, about an inch, opening so that you can fill it lightly with stuffing. And then once filled, stitch the opening closed. There we go, our nine small hearts are ready to go. Although you don't see much of it through the wreath, if you'd like you can paint your hoop a matching color uh, just in case any of the little sections do peek out. Now for the fun part, it's time to assemble the wreath. Start by placing the hearts around the hoop to test out the placement of the hearts. Once you're happy with the placement, use your clear glue and hot glue gun to glue all the large hearts around onto your wreath form. And then layer on the smaller blue hearts. Finally, add some wooden buttons for the embellishments. And once you are completely happy with your new wreath, tie on some twine to be able to hang it. And there you go, your pretty and romantic scrap fabric heart wreath is all done. So last year we also made a heart garland using the same heart template and you can check out the tutorial on our blog for that project as well as other Valentine's Day craft ideas. Um, and then that's it. So we hope you have a happy Valentine's Day and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.